Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday and it is half term. So me and Holly have just done my weekly food shop together, which was nice. So we went to Aldi's first as per usual and then Tesco's afterwards. Um, I'm just gonna show you the stuff from Tesco first because it's got frozen stuff which I want to stick into the freezer. So first off, I've got two packs of Skittles. I hope these limited edition dark side ones are vegan like the original ones. I bought these for trick-or-treaters um, and they'll be going into the Halloween bowl um, and whatever doesn't get eaten will just get left over. But I need to look to see if these are vegan. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't be. Maybe the E numbers or something, but if you do know, please let me know in the comments down below. The frozen item that I got is in preparation for December. So I normally, um, my friend Chloe normally does like a Christmas get together. And obviously the last time I went there, I wasn't a vegan. This time I am, and I don't expect her to really cater for me. Obviously all the vegetables as a standard are gonna be vegan. Um, but like, I don't expect her to buy me something separate. So I've done that for her. Um, I've got the Linda McCartney Outrageously Succulent Vegetarian Beef Roast with Red Wine and Shallot Glaze, suitable for vegans, and that's actually new. I'm really looking forward to trying that. I'm not sure if I want to try it beforehand or um, see if it's still on sale in next week or whatever and buy it next week so then I can try it one weekend beforehand, see if I like it. But that was only £3.50, which I thought was awesome, so that needs to go in the freezer now. Um, some lightly salted rice cakes. I can't make up my mind whether I want to give these to my friend who's now gluten free or have them for myself as like a, a low pointed snack on Weight Watchers, but they were only 90p. And then I finally bought some wraps so I can make fajitas. And these are the mini white tortilla wraps from Tesco and they were only 70 pence. And then, because it's half term, Polly wanted two packs of biscuits. She wanted these ones, which were like 69p, and I wanted to get her these ones because they were 49p half price on offer again. So I was like, well, it's half term, so anything goes really. So that's those. So all of that from Tesco came to £8.28. So it would have been £6.28 without the Skittles. And it would have been a lot cheaper if I wouldn't have bought the roast. But that was only £3.50, which I thought was a bargain. And I've got it now ready for December, so I don't have to make that £3.50 payment in December because December's a long, hectic month, isn't it? So that's that. Then for the stuff from Aldi's. So these are actually not for Holly. Holly's still got plenty left over from last week, but these are for my friends who's got the gluten-free problem, not problem, but like she's gluten-free and these are gluten and wheat-free, it's just potato starch, so they're handy, they're only 99p. And then also for the same friend, I've got her some of the gluten-free bread, which was £1.49, which I do think is quite expensive, but it's a good 20p cheaper than if you get the same one in Tesco. So that's gluten-free, wheat-free, and milk-free. It's not egg-free though, just in case you wanted to know. And then, so that doesn't make that vegan, I know, but she's given me the money for it, so I'm not actually paying into the industry, she is. She's asked me to pick her stuff up because she hasn't got a car. Side note. <laughs> and then some more gluten-free, organic porridge oats. Uh, right, bananas. Lots of bananas, some avocados, some gelatine free sweets. So, Holly wanted the fizzy belts this week. Um, plums, pears, Pernisons were on the Super 6 this week, like 65p, so I got two packets of those. They're normally 99p. And the Golden Delicious Apples were on the Super 6, 65p as well, so I got two packets of those. And the Pineapple were on the Super 6, 65p this week as well. 
So we got two of those as well. Two pellets of red grapes, <laughs> no surprises there. Um, I did get three soy milks, there's two there, and one here. The butternut squashes were on the Super 6 this week, so I picked up two of these. They were 65p each, rather than their normal 99p, I think they are. Leeks. Satsumas. Falafel. I'm going to try and start to get Holly to eat some more stuff like this. Um, because I find she's just eating like porridge every day for lunch and just like the same sort of things over and over again for dinner. She hasn't got like a lot of variety and I suppose I kind of let that happen because I'd rather her eat the same thing all the time than not eat at all. But then obviously you create a fussy eater, which you know I've probably already created, but I, all I can do is try and get her out of that. So, um, Frozen blueberries, um, two tins of chickpeas. I've been absolutely dying to make some hummus and I'm really excited. I might do that for my lunch in all fairness. Some chopped tomatoes and some baked beans and a tin of deodorants as a backup. Ooh, this one's heavy. Some baby spinach, some chewing gum, which I've already ripped into because I was absolutely desperate. Some more bananas because, hey, why not? Can't live without bananas. Some bleach, I ran out of bleach. I really wanted to be like chemical free um, in this house or like start making my own cleaning products and things like that. But it's not something that I've managed to get round to because it's quite an expensive outlay um, to begin with, but it does work out cheaper in the long run. It's just something that I need to sit down and work out what products I need, where I'm gonna buy them from, and then go and do it. But in the meantime, until I do do that, bleach. Two bottles of squash, and then six tins of pineapple. Yay, and then, I've also got some wellies for Holly because I've been meaning to find her some wellies. She's got some wellies at school, which are a size seven, which she kind of fits into now, but um, she probably won't fit into for a lot longer, which means they're the wellies that I leave in school, so she doesn't have any wellies at home. So I picked her up these from Aldi's. I think these were 6 99 Let me check. Yeah, so these were $6.99, which isn't obviously something that I would normally put into my weekly food shop budget. But as it is, the total came to $39.95. So take away £7 for these, and then take away what my friend is going to be paying me for the gluten-free stuff. So that is probably... seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pounds. So I've only spent twenty nine pounds really on my food for Aldi's and then another eight pounds for Tesco's, which I think is really good. I'm completely on budget this week because these would have come out of the pot somewhere along the line just from a different shop. But if you buy them from Tesco's I think they're nine pounds and I've seen some as expensive as 11 or 12 pounds in Primark. Um, and who doesn't love some pink glittery sparkly wellies with the Paw Patrol girls on them? Yay! So that's Holly set for winter months and lots of puddle jumping. So that's awesome. So I'm going to go and put all this away and have my lunch and I shall see you later. Hey guys. So we're just on our way to the park, aren't we, Holly? Yeah. How? Yeah, You've got some Paw Patrol wellies. It's got my favourite dogs. So you got your favourite dogs on? Yeah. And who were they then? Everest and Sky. Everest and Sky. Wow, you're so lucky. They are my favourite pups. They're your favourite pups. Yeah. And who are you holding? Zuma. Zuma. Wow. Paw Patrol mad. So look at... 
she's got some green and he's got some green eyes. He's got green eyes. Look at the weather. It is stunning. So I just wanted to say to remember to go over to Instagram and give me a follow. It's blonde underscore L or blonde L. Type in blonde L, I should come up, you should be able to see me. Um, it just fills in, yeah, it just fills in the gaps of the day that I don't end up vlogging or don't end up making it to the vlog. Not that that happens very rarely, but sometimes like if we do come to the park, like I won't film that because I filmed it a thousand times. So yeah, it just fills in the gaps, etc. Um, but yeah, I'd appreciate it if you popped on over and gave me a little follow. Um, don't bother following me on Snapchat though, because I will be deleting that as of tomorrow evening. So yeah, see you all later. So we've decided to come to the woods and what, what have you found, Holly? A broomstick and I said is there room on the broom for a mummy like me no. <gasps> you cheeky devil <laughs> you cheeky devil <laughs> you cheeky little witch <laughs> is there room on the broom for a mummy like me no, no. You cheeky witch! You cheeky little witch! <laughs> Turn around so I can see you. What are we going to go and find now? A golden leaf! A golden leaf? Okay, cool. Let's go. Is it down there? No. Mm -hmm. Holly. <laughs>